chair is like super close to my back screen. Do you see this? It's very weird. It's kind of making me dizzy. But anyways, I have my boxy charm in, and this is going to be a June's boxy charm. So this is the giant, ginormous. It feels so like you guys. I don't even know how much it costs them to ship these things because it's so heavy feeling. It's crazy to me. So let me see if I can figure out how to open this one because it's in a. The box is kind of weird. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me see here. So. Let me get my handy, I'm gonna need a little scissor for this one. Let me get my handy dandy little scissor. And uh, let me just cut this open. All right, okay, this is huge. Okay, so inside, of course, they put this little card in here, which I love because it tells you everything that you get and how much it would normally cost, which I have to say, that Glam Glow face wash that we received, oh my gosh, that face wash is amazing. Like normally I don't use like a makeup remover. I usually use just image or skin script for my face wash, um, just for acne and stuff. But I've actually been using that face wash first and then image or skin script because that face wash with one wash, like the tiniest amount, like little, literally like a dime size amount and you put it on your like eye makeup, it takes everything off right away. Like. Not even my other face washes do that. Like it literally removes like even my waterproof mascara gone after one wash, which is amazing. Like I had to tell you guys that stuff is amazing. Like that stuff is so amazing. I can't even remember how much it costs, but when I run out, I'll be buying more. That's how amazing it is. It's just really good face wash. So I was super happy for that. All right. So let's start out with, oh my gosh, there's like a bag of something. Okay. So let's wait a minute and start with, it says Tarte is in here. What is it? Tarte Pro Glow Cheek Palette. Okay. So it's something flat. I thought I already had this. I think I already have a Tarte palette somewhere, but I don't remember. So I'm going to have to like, look, oh, you know what? I do have a Tarte something. Oh no, maybe it's eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think I'm gonna literally have a, be able to do a full face of Tarte just with this now. Cause I'm pretty sure that I have everything I need now to do a full face of Tarte. So I'll have to do this. So this is the Pro Glow 3. Um, it's a cheek palette. I don't, it must be just for blush. Let's see. This is normally, oh right here. Six shade, um, Streak Fade Freed Flawless Wear. Oh, blush highlighter and bronzer. Oh, oh, this is good. Oh, this is normally $45. Oh, I like this. Okay, all right. So this is really good and $45 is expensive. So, and it feels super nice. Like it definitely feels like heavy, like, like it was made very well with the magnet. So I have actually been using um, the Cover FX one. And I really like it because, well, clearly you can see my kids tried to get into it because there's like some blush on there. But um, the only thing I really don't use very often is the finishing powder. And I just have been using like the highlight, contour, and blush. So I really like palettes that have a highlight, contour, and blush on them like this because I feel like they're just easy to be able to take somewhere or just have right in front of me. And I don't have to open all these little individual things. That annoys me. So um, I'll actually be switching this out because I like to try them and just kind of see. I don't know... That looks actually really nice. That's one of the highlights. So let me just see. Can you see that? So really pretty. Like not like it's too, too much, but it looks like it'll be like super nice. Oh, that was like the residue. So that's probably going to be a super nice palette. So, and the, I'm digging the contour color right here. Like this looks like it's going to be my go-to. This might be a little warm for me, but I could try it for summertime. So I'm excited about that. I will definitely be uh, using that. I still need to do a full face from last month's BoxyCharm. So I might have to incorporate both these again like I did the last time because there's a lot of products. Okay, so let me go ahead and stick this over to the side so that it's not in my way. So the next thing is the Touch and Soul um, No Pore Blim Prime Essence. Let me see where this is. I don't even know. There's so much stuff in here. Is this it? No. Okay. Come on now. Come on now. Ah! Everything's falling. Hold on a minute. Okay, this is Dr. Brandt. Hold on. I'm like giving away. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. Can you see right now? Okay. Said I was like low battery, so I need to make this video quick for you guys so my phone doesn't die. 
So this is um, a Prime Essence. This is normally $23 and so I'm assuming, it, oh yeah, it's a primer and it's supposed to keep your skin silky smooth. So we'll see. I don't really love primers because for some reason my face like gets super dry with them and then breaks apart and you can see everything. So I'm not like a huge person for primer. However, I will try it just for the sake of trying it. But $23, ugh. Okay, so the next one is Dominique Cosmetics. So this is the Lemonade Lip Gloss. Oh, okay. And this is normally $17. And is there a certain color? Okay, so this is strawberry lemonade. Ooh, I already of course have lip gloss on right now, but I'm so glad BoxyCharm has been sending more lip gloss and less like lip stain because matte, the matte lip stains, I already have too many of those. So, ooh, this looks like it's gonna be super pretty. So let me just see. Obviously I'm already wearing a lighter color, but. Oh my God, it smells so good. So you could definitely tell that it made my lips a little darker of a pink and not such a light colored pink, but I actually really like that color and it smells really good. So I'm excited about that. I could definitely wear that. Can you guys please go? Seriously. Um, okay. So the next one is PYT's mini turbo on the go dryer. So last time I got the little mini flat iron, I've never seen a mini on the go dryer, but I'm intrigued. Oh, cute. Oh my gosh. This literally is. I mean, this is like so tiny. Okay, so I definitely will be keeping this in my stuff because normally, I mean, I don't blow dry my hair really on the go it places. Is so tiny? Please go. No, seriously. It's like a cheap one. Hey, guess what? If you don't go into your room right now, I'm going to go turn off the TV and you guys are going to lay in the dark. Okay. Children. So this is super cute. I'm definitely going to be sticking this like in my bag, uh, like for when I actually go places, but I don't really blow dry my hair. Usually I let it air dry anyways, um, but it'll be nice to have as like a just in case. So, and it came with this cute, oh my gosh, do you see this? It, it came with like a cute little diffuser too. How funny. That's so funny. Okay. And a nice little silky bag. Okay. So that normally is $85. I would not pay $85 for a mini blow dryer, but hey, to each his own. So the next one is gonna be the Dr. Brandt Clean Biotic pH Balance Yogurt Cleanser. Okay, so this is like a face cleanser. This is so funny. So I guess, I guess I'll start using this one. This is normally $35. So I guess I'll start using this one just to see what it does in place of the other one and then I'll let you guys know if that glam glow was better or um, if the Dr. Brandt was better but I really like that glam glow so Dr. Brandt has a lot of living up to do um okay so the next one is by pharmacy and it's the honeymoon glow AHA resurfacing night serum and I I can definitely go for a night serum like I this is not the end of the world so resurfacing though that's kind of weird it says um, it's a three-in-one night serum that resurfaces, hydrates, and clarifies dull skin while you sleep. So it has acid blend in it, a gentle one. Youthful looking smooth complexion. So I don't, a complexion, complexion. <laughs> um, and it says it reduces wrinkles. Normally it's $58. So I don't know how I feel about this because my skin is already dry and who knows what I'll wake up with even though it says hydrating. Oh, we'll see. However... I'm not opposed to trying it for a little bit just to see. Won't be the end of the world. Um, so the next one is Living Proof's Full Dry Volume Blast. Oh, oh my gosh, how funny is this? Wait a minute. So little, this is so funny. So little um, tidbit. Pureology, if you've ever used Pureology, the owner of Pureology, like probably 10 years ago now, sold off Pureology, their company. And um, he signed a contract saying he couldn't start another company for like a seven years or something like that. Um, and so uh, conveniently, like a couple years after he sold it off, like slowly certain products, they started not being able to have them anymore. And one of the product, main products was Texture Twist, which was this Laffy Taffy stuff that came out of a pump. And it is amazing, especially for short hair clients, like to get that spice, like spicy, that PC like spiky textured look. Um, super, super good. Like literally every one of my clients owned it. So we were super upset because we couldn't find a product like it anywhere. Fast forward seven years, um, the owner of Pureology actually started a new company. The company is called Living Proof. So I'm assuming this is from his line. 
And in that company, he actually made a product, literally looks like it's in the same bottle, um, and it's like, same product and everything. Hallelujah! We were so excited at the salon because, so now we don't like order all the Living Proof products because we really still like Pureology. However, that is one of the main products that like we order in bulk because now all of our clients have it back again. There was like a five year period where we literally could not find it or a product that worked similar to it. So we were just literally just kind of trying to figure out what we could. So super, super excited. So I am like not, this is a styling and finishing spray. So, so I'm assuming a hairspray, so I'm not mad about this. I will actually use this. I really prefer Aveda's Control Force hairspray, even over Pureology's, but I'm not opposed to using a new hairspray, um, especially one from a professional brand. I don't like when they send me store brand stuff because I am a professional stylist. So uh, the fact that they're sending me something that is a professional brand, like super love. You guys, get out of here. Go in your room now. I'm not joking. Oh my God, these kids. Like literally, I'm gonna go turn their TV off and they're gonna be laying in the dark in like five minutes. They just are doing this because they know I'm on camera right now, so they know I'm not gonna get up, but I'm about to press pause on this shit and go give them a talking to. So anyways, I'm gonna try this. I'll let you guys know what I think. Again, super excited. Thank you, BoxyCharm, for sending a professional hair product. I really hate when the boxes send um, store brand products. Not that they're all bad or anything, but just me as a stylist, I just feel like it's one of those, like, taboo things that, like, yeah. So, anyways, if you're curious, that Living Proof Hairspray is normally $29. So, the next one is by Tristique, and this is normally $25, and it's called Good Vibes Mascara. And holy cow, what, what is this? Okay, pull off clear cap to access half curler, press down a long lash line and hold for three to five seconds, move across lashes to get desired curl. Twist off top for volumizing mascara and apply as desired. You guys, I'm super excited to use this. OMG, what the heck? Oh, okay, so there's the mascara. Oh, and this is supposed to be flipped down to curl. I'm like... Oh, oh, so do you, what? That's what you're supposed to, cur oh, I thought it was like some electric hot curler. I don't feel like, what is that gonna do for me? That's not even gonna touch like one piece of my lash. <sighs> Whatever, we'll try it and see. But this is huge, look how thick this is. That's a lot of product. So that's normally $25. Okay, last but not least, this is by Skin & Co. And this is Truffle Therapy Radiant Dew Mist. So, um, is this supposed to be like a setting spray? It doesn't say, you guys. It just says it's a complexion refreshing mist. Tighten pores. Oh, and setting makeup at the very end. So $35. I don't know if that's really a good deal because I don't really use setting sprays that often either. But let's see what it smells like. Oh. Oh, it kind of has like a minty. It almost smells like Pureology's hydrating conditioner, that like kind of tea trick smell to it. So I'm not mad about that. I actually like that smell. But $35, gosh, that's expensive. Okay, all right, you guys, that's going to be it. But it seems like I'm, I am I've got a pretty good deal with the huge box because a lot of this stuff is worth a ton of money. And, um, and especially the uh, tart, um, I needed that last thing to do a full face of tart. I'm like pretty 100%, well, 99.9% .9 positive. I literally have every prop, every kind of product now to do a full face. So I'm excited about that. Um, and yeah, I'm excited about all the other stuff too. So I can't be mad. Like, I feel like these boxes are nice because even if you don't need everything, technically you can kind of go sell the stuff on the side that you wouldn't use or... I've heard from a lot of people, I haven't done this yet, but I've heard from a lot of people that they save some of the stuff and if they don't use it, they'll save all of it and use it to make like little gift bags for people. Like if they have a gift to give to somebody that they'll actually make it into like a little gift bag with all the products that are brand new that they haven't used anyways. And they're super expensive products normally. So it's kind of nice that you can do that. If you don't need something, there you go. You literally have a gift for somebody. So if you haven't thought about that, it's a good idea. And I, I actually am not opposed to doing that. However, most of the time when I'm getting this stuff, it's so I can kind of tell you guys um, about it and what it's good for. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this one's BoxyCharm unboxing. 
and I know I have a lot of videos to catch up on with you guys. I just have so much going on right now. The house that we were gonna buy, the deal didn't go through. Long story short, they didn't wanna replace a roof and it was a super expensive house already. So for us to have to pay 20 grand for a new roof, plus buying the house, it just wasn't worth it. So we are still on the hunt for our, you know, perfect irrigated farm property, um, which is super hard to find here in Arizona, but fingers crossed that it's gonna happen at some point and it just wasn't meant to be. So, you know, keep me in, my, in your thoughts when you're looking at houses because I'm looking too. <laughs> So anyways, I am I'm gonna try to keep up with you guys, but this summer's getting crazy The kids are all out of school and I just don't have a ton of time and my husband is still in school So bear with me when they go back to school and I have a little bit more time I'll try to get on track as good as possible, but for right now, it's just gonna be kind of sporadic So yes, if you have any questions about any of the products or you've already tried them, please leave them in the comments below I'd love to see what you guys think and I will see you in the next video. Bye